One dish every visitor to South Korea must try is bibimbap. There are even restaurants dedicated to it. Well, it's rice-based, so we've headed down to the rice bowl of South Korea, to the Chola Do province, and we've picked ourselves up some absolute beaut bibimbap. It's a seasonal vegetable mix, um, so it does change from, <laughs> from season to season. Mm -hmm. But the rice is at the bottom, nice and warm. The vegetables and a nice chilli paste. And in this case, there's also an egg cracked on the top. And the idea is you mix it all in. Mix it all in. I know it looks so good you don't want to muck around with it, but it wouldn't be a Korean meal without yeah, some, some condiments. Now, look, every single Korean meal you'll have will have different accompaniments that come with it. But there's always one that's very, very consistent. It's this one here, and I just had some, and it is stinging hot. Now, this is kimchi. It's fermented cabbage, and it's got chilli inside there that's been fermented with it. It's got a really nice warm burn. Now, chilies only came to Korea in the 15th century, but by goodness, have they taken it on super well. Yeah. And that is one of the major things with this particular kimchi. Oh, well, it, it's got a real bite to it. Have a crack to it. You have a bit, I'll All have right. a bit. Give See it a shot. Very nice. Yes. Oh, very nice. Bip and bap. Kim, I love a good feed. Well, mate, you know, I'm from Adelaide and we reckon we know everything about wine and food. And when I know I come to Korea, I've got to find out things like Han Jong Shik. What? Han Jong Shik. He drove us here, didn't he? No, he didn't. No. no. It's all about high-end food. And if you're a foodie and you love your food, then Han Jong Shik is the way to go. There okay. are restaurants that are devoted to it. We can start off with this lovely pumpkin broth. Yeah. We can do that. No, okay. Not with your chopsticks. No, no, no. But then appetizers here already. Cool Jupan. Okay. The nine ingredients, including yeah. a pancake. So it's a pancake. Put, grab your pancake. So, so what do you do? You take yeah. your pancake. Generally with uh, chopsticks. But anyway, no, that's go not, for it. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. So let, let's, yep. let's be realistic. A little bit of everything. Okay, so what's the little bit? Up. Yep. So and, keep and going work there. Work your way around. Work your way around. Then you dip it into your mustard sauce. Now, whilst Easy. you're doing that, we've got some other fantastic food on the plate here. We've got some abalone sashimi. That gets dipped into the chilli sauce. Right. We've got some eel. Yeah. Uh, octopus. And some tempura deep sea bread. Three different soups, and of course, kimchi. Wouldn't be a Korean meal without kimchi. Wow. Now, how are you going with that? You've got to dip that into the... Yeah, mate, look, I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pop okay. that into the sauce. But I did notice, I was talking to a couple of kids just out the front there, and you know how you say that you don't have to eat at all? Well, according to them, the way the whole thing works in Korean society is, if you don't eat at all, and you're the last one at the table, you have to wash the dishes. So my suggestion is, you get stuck into it. Right, okay. And um, also, uh, wouldn't mind mm. washing it down with um, a little bit of soju. That is delicious. What's oh, it called again? Cool. <laughs> Joe Pan. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Got it.